But real quick before we get started, the Johannes Voss 2023 Playmat Collection Kickstarter is officially up and running. The project is going on through May 18th, so if you want Playmats featuring some of the most beautiful art in all of MTG, make sure you check out these links in the description. Do it! Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're joined by the fervent alchemist himself, Kai, to figure out which one of our current pet decks is best in CEDH. You can find me on YouTube at uh, Fervent Alchemist or on Twitter as Fervent Alchemist. <laughs> this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Dragon Shield. Go check out the affiliate link down below to help support the show. So we have Tyler on Perplexing Kinnon. I'm playing Corvold. Kai's on Vigo Cloud Farm, and Cam's playing Magda. Ready to go? Ready to go. I got. I have a six. I got six at the Sun Stair. Take us away, Tyler. I'm gonna play a Verdant Catacombs. I will correct that. Going to 39. Tropical Island. Tap said Tropical Island for a Mana Vault. Tap the Mana Vault for three. Use two of it to cast a Talisman of Curiosity. And go to 38, tapping that for green to cast a Finhorn Elves. And then I'll say go. I will draw card. Bayou. Cast Mana Crypt. Cast Arcane Signet. Cast a Chromox. Pitch Eternal Witness. Cast Praetor's Grasp. Targeting Cameron. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Oh no. Yo, would you like Dockside Extortionist? I would like to secretly tell you that I would like Dockside Extortionist. Alrighty, <laughs> you get that. So should I just not play any rock? <laughs> no, no, no. I got a random card. You don't know about it. <laughs> That's gonna be it for me, though. I will pass my turn once that card is exiled. All right. So not the Dockside Extortionist. Got it. This was the saddest start I could have had. Losing the best card in my deck to give it to you. Horrible. Corvo Dockside deck. This is a great move for me. It's, it's fine. Stay tuned for the Patreon game. <laughs> Blue Delta, crack it for a Chocolate Island. Go into 39 and cast a Elf. And that is all for me. Let's go to my turn. Land. I'm gonna run out a Liberated Dwarf and then pass the turn. Untap. Lose one, two mana bolts. Draw, cast Kitten. And that's all I got there. Uh, untap. Upkeep. I will roll for Mana Crypt. Odds I lose. Lose. I'll take three. Go down to 37. Draw card. Okay, you guys are being stingy, I see. That's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna play this this Jeweled Lotus. Cast Corvold. Yep. Yep. Oh, sure. Sack my Chromox on the trigger and draw a card, get a plus one counter. I'm going to cast this Dockside Extortionist floating one. Oh, oh nice Pikachu. Oh, it's yeah. the fat Pikachu too. <laughs> Make two treasures. <laughs> Let's sack this for a black and draw a card. Sack this for a red. Draw a card. How many cards in everyone's hand? Ooh, no. I have five. Me too. I have six. Jessica's will. Targeting Kai. I have nothing to say about that. You said six, right? I will make six red mana and exile the top three cards since I control my commander. A Wishclaw Talisman, a Vampiric Tutor, and a Verdant Catacombs. Play Verdant Catacombs as my land for turn. Crack Verdant Catacombs. Losing a life, go into 36. Trigger Corvold, and I believe I should know this from playing Corvold, but I draw first, right? Because yeah, sacrificing first. is part of the cost. Correct. Yes. This is the second time that I've ever played Corvold, so we're learning as we go here. Just like every other time we've ever played a deck on Play to Win. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Draw a card, go up to four counters, and go search with Verdant Catacombs. Get in, Overgrown Tomb, Shocked In, go down to 34. Let's use a black and a red. Cast this Wishclaw Talisman. I'll use a red, and I will activate Wishclaw Talisman. Going down to two. Kai, you're the guest. I'll give it to you. Yeah, thank you. This is, uh, okay, we're learning as we go here. We're figuring it out. How do we fucking win? the game use two red and i'll put a dock side on the stack yep yeah yep let me Dock side trigger, make two triggers. No, you make three. Oh, okay, because you have the wish claw. I did that on purpose for sure. <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> Sacrifice a treasure for a black mana. Trigger Corvold and respond to the trigger. Wait, do I get the black mana first? I'm pretty sure you get the black mana because it's a mana ability. Yeah, I have to. So you get the mana and then the yeah, Corvold trigger the goes on the stack. Yeah, that sounds right. I'm pretty sure that's it. So I have the mana. I'll use the mana with the trigger still on the stack and cast this Vampiric Tutor from my exile from the Jessica's will. My time to shine. Hold up, this is- Your time to shine, what the fuck yeah, is what it? Yeah, I gotta, yeah, I'm into my stuff. Mm. Hey! <laughs> yeah. That's gonna resolve. That's pretty sick. All right, Corvo trigger, draw a card. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's sack a treasure for a black mana, trigger Corvo, draw a card. Crack a treasure, black mana, trigger Corvo, draw a card. Black, red, has Tainted Pact. Fuck it. Taking the ad, Nas. Use this red and the black, and I'll cast a Cabal Ritual. Oh, look at which that. Is turned on. Just Seven enough. exactly. Exactly, yeah. Oh, sure. Use two for Grim Monolith. Tap for three, two black. Cast the ad, Nas. Good luck. I will show you enough, you can't refuse. Uh, <laughs> uh -oh. 
fucking god. More treasures! <laughs> 36. Yeah, it, yeah, it's really bad against Quirfold, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, let's keep on keep on digging, I guess. That's twice now that I have been stopped, and my dock side only makes two treasures. So this fucking Corvo deck, I'm in love. Jund, Jun life. We're back, baby. <laughs> this is like the first time that the treasures from an offer you can't refuse has been like <gasps> super bad for the rest of the table. Yeah, this is great news for me. Sack of treasure for a red mana. Draw a card. Sacrifice the treasure. Make a green mana. Trigger Corvold. Red mana. Lightning bolt. My dockside extortionist. Oh no. Uh oh. That's, uh oh. That's very alarming. <laughs> alarming. Yeah, you got yeah. it. I have a fucking dwarf in play, and look at all this shit you're doing. Use this mana to cast an animate dead. Animate dead on the dockside. Okay. Make three treasures. Sack a treasure for a black mana. Draw a card. Sack a treasure for a red mana. Draw a card. Sack of treasure, green mana, draw card. Well, I think we're going to whiff zone. Oh my God, we finally ran him out of yeah. gas. Holy <laughs> cow. We got there. Such a turn <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Okay, let's try to repair my actions here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to abrupt decay that wish claw talisman. No. <laughs> I'm at least not going to give somebody else the game if I'm going to not uh. win. Wish claw in the yard. Use the red mana and cast red elemental blast targeting Kinnon. Yeah, you got it. Cast a lion's eye diamond while there's no fishes. And that's it. I'm just gonna pass turn with my fucking gigantic Corvold. How many cards do you have in hand? Five. Seems really bad. So we know where both the dock sides are, right? <laughs> I know both right here. This is a crazy spot to be in on turn two. <laughs> Oh my god, at this point, we're all just like thankful that at least mental missteps stopped the vamp tutor from happening, but it's not even gonna matter. You were still able to make five mana and cast ad nauseum. Yeah. <laughs> sea clouds. I don't wanna play any more rocks. I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Dockside makes more than three treasures. I swear to god, I can yeah. piece together something. I'll cast a mana group. <laughs> Two for the colorless, cast a JVP. Pass the turn. I will get a draw. I will play a barbarian ring as my land for turn. And I think all we're doing is going down to 39 to cast Magda. Then we will go to combat. Tyler, since you're wide open, I'm going to come at you for two. And when it taps, I will make a treasure off of Magda. I will take two, go to 34. I am passing the turn. Untap. Upkeep. This feels terrible, but I have to. I'm going to wordly tutor in upkeep. I'm going to find a bloom tender. I love it. I'll put that on top. I will draw the bloom tender for turn. i also lose one life to the vault and cast bloom tender. Uh, Sago. Untap. Upkeep. Wolf for crypt. I will take damage. No damage. It's a two. I will draw a card. Play the bad lands as land for turn. Oh, your monolith is still tapped. Sorry. Go to combat. Who's the threat? Uh, you are. Mm -hmm. uh, Good call. I also don't think it's me, but... <laughs> Kai, do you think it's you? Uh, jeez, I don't know, dude. Yeah, it's Cam, definitely you. It, Cam, that is a dwarf, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I do have Magda and another dwarf. Okay. Um, yeah, Cam, I'm gonna attack you. Course, I have a Corvold okay. trigger. I will sacrifice the Grim Monolith. Get a counter, draw a card. I'm down to 22. And that's 17 commander damage. Tap the Crypt for Talisman of Indulgence. Deathrite Shaman grinding station. On the ETB, I will respond to the trigger and I will sacrifice the mana crypts to untap grinding station. I'm going to target myself. So I'll get a counter, draw a card, then mill three, ancient tomb, mana vaults, simian spirit guide. Yeah, I probably should have just done all of this before I attacked you. I didn't assume that I was going to be able to make enough to kill you. So I wanted to get the extra information, but I, sh I should have just gotten information from grinding station by drawing cards, but it's okay, whatever. Then it untaps. That's it. I'll pass my turn. Okay, we lived. Well, I don't know about Cam. I don't know if you're living. <laughs> <laughs> We're not long for this world. Uh, if it kills me, I lose three. Draw breeding pool on tats. Take two more. I think I'll just cast a Rigo. I'll go to combat and I'll send JVP at Tyler. So I have a trigger, draw a card, and I'll just pass the turn here. We'll go to mine. I will get a draw. Um, well, I either win the game now or I die on Dylan's turn. Uh, let's pay one mana for a right of flame. I have two red mana and then I will use a third Third, losing another life, going down to 21. I'll put a Jessica's Will on the stack, targeting whoever has the most cards in hand. I have four. I have four as well. Wow, that was a lot worse than I hoped it would be. I will target Dylan. So here's the three. It's Springleaf Drum, Cavern of Souls, and Cloudstone Curio. Okay, these don't win me the game. Play Cavern of Souls, naming Dwarf. Corvold is so big. Oh my God. <laughs> I have to like recast Fury like four times, six times to kill Corvold. 
Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do all that. I don't know if I'll be able to do that either. I, I cannot, you look at a core hold and say, how many furies is that? <laughs> how many furies? There's got to be another yeah. way. Three for the Cloudstone Curio, the Springleaf Drum. Let's tap Liberated Dwarf with Springleaf Drum, making a Magda Treasure and another red mana. We'll pay four mana here, and we'll just cast a Karn the Great Creator, make things a little bit more difficult for Dylan. I will have to respond to that on the sec. Okay. Oh, no. Well, no, I just, I have, I got shit to do. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Tap these two for a black and a colorless. I exile this Elvish Spirit Guide from my hand to make a green, and I'll flash in Opposition Agent. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I will also sacrifice the Lion's Eye Diamond to the Grinding Station to mill myself three. Trigger Corvold. Draw card, mill three. Professional Face Breaker, Exotic Orchard, Lotus Petal. No more effects. Pass priority. Okay. Well, my plus up target's not there anymore. Comes in, pass the turn. I can still plus up and select zero artifacts. It Untap. I will lose one life to your mana vault and then draw a card. I will play Boseju in its worst mode. Cast can in the good old fashioned way. That's the turn. Go to my turn. Untap. Upkeep and draw a card. I'm going to play this Polluted Delta. Sacrifice it. Losing a life. Triggering Corvold. Draw a card off Corvold. Fail to find. I am sure you are not going to let him untap with the Cloudstone with the Curio. I haven't. Well, I don't have Dockside because it was stolen from me. So now my infinite mana outlet is no longer there. I'm going to go to combat, okay? Good. I'm going to attack Tyler. I'm going to trigger Corvold. I'm going to sacrifice my Dockside Extortionist. And I will draw a card and get a plus one counter on him. Sure. I am dead. 21 commander damage. Oh, no. I feel very alone. Birds of Paradise and Shock in a Blood Crypt go down to 31. That's it. I'm just going to pass turn. I So here's something fun. Uh, I definitely played a second land here, which is a big cheaty move. Ooh. I cracked that Polluted Delta. I played it, cracked it. Uh, and then now I play this Blood Crypt. I did not realize that I was doing it. Uh, I don't tap it for mana and I miss my land drop next turn. So it technically doesn't matter. But still fucking stupid. Oh boy. Don't tap. How big is Magna, by the way? Two, one. At this point, you are more than happy to hit me. Okay. We need to find ways to deal with this. <laughs> I'll roll for crypts. It is a six. I live. Drop card. I'll go to combat. I send zero at you, Kim, and one at Karn. Triggers. Draw two. Karn will take one, and I will take one as well. We're going down to 20. Well, I didn't get a land yet. Second main phase. I'll play a Cloud of Fairies. It's free. Untap. <laughs> Pass the turn here. Let's uh, go to mine. I'm going to plus up Karn targeting the mana crypt that Kai has to kill him. Yeah, fair enough. Let's go to combat. Dylan, I'm going to attack you with Liberated Dwarf and make a treasure with Magda. I'll take two. No blocks. I will pass the turn. In your end step, I'm going to activate Death Rite Shaman. I'm going to exile that just because we'll out of your graveyard and shoot everyone for two with my Death Rite. Untap. Upkeep. Draw card. Go to combat. I'm going to send Corvold at Kai. Sorry, Kai. Oh, no. I'm going to trigger Corvold. Get a counter after sacrificing this grinding station. Draw card. I will block. I lived! <laughs> yeah, so there's... Uh, I could definitely understand the argument that I should have just attacked Cameron and killed him right here. Here's my thought process. Kai's playing blue cards, which I'm not a fan of. Cameron is playing mono red, and I have an opposition agent in play that stops his whole strategy. I feel like I can take Cam one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not sure that I can take Kai one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm trying to get rid of Kai first, and then hopefully I can deal with Cameron after. What am I going to do? Like, play Utvara Hellkite? And even then, that's not going to do it for me. My dragon's way bigger! Yeah. Elves of Deep Shadow and pass my turn. I guess in your end step, I'll, I'll flash in the Spectral Sailor. Or oh, Flyers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Flyers. Yeah. Flyers going badly. <laughs> I'll draw Temple Garden. Take two. Go to combat. 10. The Elf. I can. Yeah, I'll take it down to 17. So I'll just pass the turn here. That's your end step. I'm going to throw an abrade over at the opposition agent. I pass priority. Yep, pass priority. I'll also tap Magda with Springleaf Drum and make another treasure. And we'll go to my turn, get a draw. Let's plus up on Karn. Let's swing this liberated door over at Dylan making a treasure. It's a two one, I will take it. Tap Magda with Springleaf Drum, making a red mana and another treasure, the Imperial Recruiter. I don't know if now's the right time to interact, fuck. I just talked to you, Kai. I have a besage you, and that kind of fucks it up because I'm telling Cam, but I'm not sure if I should kill that thing now or try to wait for the clock. All right, here's something that, that might make you feel better. I also have a besage you as well. Great. <laughs> <laughs> here's something that will make the both of you feel better. This is not infinite treasures. Yeah. yeah. Fast priority. Right. So imp recruiter's good. 
Go with me. I'm going to yep. bounce the liberated dwarf to my hand with the cloudstone curio. I'm just going to get a universal automaton. That doesn't have flying. No, I don't have any cheap flyers. I'll cast universal automaton going down to 16. I'll shuffle in a second and I'll pass. On tap. Upkeep. Truffer. I'm going to cast reanimate targeting my dark side. I'll lose two and have a dark side trigger. I'm dead. If I don't sack my treasures, I'm dead. If I do sack my treasures, I'm just going to attack you. You're dead either way. Dylan, I'm going to sack all my treasures and I'm going to put a lightning bolt at your face. You got it. I, I will take it gladly and go to 22. I I'll ask you this just because someone else might. Yeah. Do you think that was a spy play? Yeah, yeah. No, no, because it, it, it did not end up affecting the game and there was nothing that it was going to do to end up affecting the game three dark side treasures let's go to combat i will attack you cam nice i'm dead trigger corvold sacrifice this dark side put a counter on it and draw card can i respond to the trigger you can yeah sorry oh it's all good i have to pay gvp i'll just grab a chromox and then it'll flip go to my second main i have a windswept teeth i'm gonna crack the windswept teeth i'll go to 21 i'll draw first and get a counter on corvold i uh sack a treasure for green and draw card sack a treasure for red and draw card sack a treasure for a black draw card gamble i have to be spectral sailor in this sure. chance Draw, card. Yep, you got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. One, two, three, four. We an underworld breach. Got it. Awesome. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, hard mode is officially active. All right. Well, let's go. Okay. That's so funny. All right. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Why did I bother? Cast a soul ring with one of that mana there. Skirk Prospector. Mox Opal. Hey, Dill. Sorry, yeah. I just realized um, that Pikachu should be gone. Your dark side is exiled. I'm so you. sorry. You are right. Cameron is gone. Appreciate that. Bucket, is it even worth it? Sack this goblin for red. Make one more Corvold trigger. And draw a card. Cast Imperial Seal. I don't have any other ways to draw, though, so... That card, put it on top, lost to two life, pass a turn. I thought it was gonna be a total, like, misplay on my part for tapping out. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this is great, but he showed me the Besager already, but he's knocked <laughs> out, so we're okay. All right, I'll go to combat. I'll send the uh, Spectral Sailor at EU. Draw a card. I will not block it. Second main phase. I'll cast a mana ball. I have to play a land this turn. Be a Besager. A float one. I'll cast a salty equation. I will get a temporal manipulation. May I put it on the stack? Do it. And I guess I'll just plus one Jace. I'll just target Burst Paradise. Why not? I'm gonna go to my next turn. Yeah, go for it. Take one. Drop Misty Rancors. Crack it. Go to combat. I'll send the elf. Draw a card. I'll block with my elves of deep shadow. Yeah, you got it. I'll cast a Hermit Druid. Cyclonic Rift targeting Corvold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. I will minus three targeting the extra turn spell. I'll respond with Death Threat Shaman, pay black, and exile it. Have mm -hmm. you lose two life? I think I'll just cast a Spring Leaf Drum. Pass the turn here. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Untap. <laughs> There we go. Draw a card. Cast Dosin of the Falling Leaf. Yeah, you got a Dosin. I'm going to cast this Fire Covenant right now. Yeah, fair enough. And I'm going to pay three life and deal one damage to each of your creatures. Fair enough. Play this Arid Mesa as land for turn. Recast Corvold. ETB, Sacrifice, Talisman of Indulgence. Get a counter and draw a card. That's it. Pass turn. Draw. Cast a birthing pod. Resolves. Activate pod. I'll respond to that. I'll sacrifice this arid mesa, losing a life, drawing a card with Corvold. Go fetch. Find this stomping ground. I will fire off this Besaju, targeting your birthing pod. You got me. Feel free to go search for a land with a basic land type. This last one I have. I will put a Myrel into the battlefield. I'm minus three. I'll kill Jace and I'll target my Cyclonic Rift. And then I would like to hit the court. So Bounced again. I'll play Jubilus, sack it for triple white, and then use two, cast, Rego again. Yep. And then I'll pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw card. I'm going to recast Corvold. Yep. I'll sacrifice this Mox Opal, get a counter, and draw a card. I have a Mysterine Forest. I'll sack it, lose a life, draw a card, fail to find. I'll cast Grim Hireling, activate Death Threat Shaman right now. Okay. I'll exile to solve the equation with Death Threat and have you lose two. I'll resort him back to a 1v1 strategies. I'll pass turn. <laughs> Untap, lose one. Draw card. Cast Eternal Witness. ETB will target Hermit Druid. Put it on the stack. Tap this and turn to witness. And I'll cast Snap targeting, <laughs> oh gosh, the Grim Hireling. Done. Yep. Yep, you got it. It's bounced. Cast a Timeless Witness and that'll target Snap. 
I'll pass the turn. Uh, untap. Draw card. Play Marsh Flats. Crack the Marsh Flats. Go to 10. Get a counter on Corvold and draw a card. Not going to bother shuffling or searching my library. Fail to find. I'm going to cast Grim Hireling. Go to combat. Attack with Corvold, trigger, sacrifice this arcane signet, and draw a card. No blocks. Grim Hireling trigger, I will make two treasures. Pretty sure I'll die in the next combat if I don't bounce it anyway. <laughs> Let's see. Crack this treasure for a red, get a counter, and draw a card. Crack this treasure for another red, get a counter, draw a card. <laughs> I see where this is going. Yeah. Use the two red, cast Final Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Shit. Take an yep. extra turn. Yeah, you got it. I'm going to cast the Tinder Wall right now and then cast the Ragavan right now and then move to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. I should have activated Deathrite Shaman. Draw a card. Being super careful. I don't know why. Cast Unearth, targeting my Dockside. Make two treasures. Yep. Go to combat. Attack you with my Corvold. Sacrifice a land. Draw a card. Yep, I am dead. Wow. <laughs> that took fucking forever. Good game. Good game. That was an incredibly grindy game. I was not the intended way that I wanted to win. This deck can win with Twin Flame Dual Caster Mage. It can win with Underworld Breach. It can win with Mayhem Devil. It can win in various different ways. Combat damage wasn't the one on the top of my list, but fuck was it a cool way to do on the first viewing for the channel as long as you still get the win right wins a win that's all that matters thank you so much for watching if you'd like to support us directly you can do so on patreon like our 100 dollars patron baby g bus and demon of rosgree if you want to pick up any merch you can do that at our merch store play to win mtg.com thank you so much dragon shield for supporting the show make sure you check out our affiliate link with dragon shield down below for all of your sleeves or any other magic accessories that you need you can follow us on twitter tiktok and instagram for more content thank you so much for for watching. See you next time. Should we talk about our fifty dollars patrons? Fifty dollars patrons, and then we'll Let's do the fifty dollars patrons. AJ Alba Sabi, J To Field, Stashes, Mitchell Shepard, Man Solo, Nicole Minkovic, Steve H Like Me, A Big King T, Big T, Green Guy, Petain Jackson, Isaiah Broleski, Pedro, Metal Plays Games, It's Steve, Guaja Hey Me, Jacob Depp, Michael Blue. Uh, you and Wild Thing. And Thomas Bino. Swampy McGee. Uh, Lauren Connell. David Nelson. Jormax. Rolling. La da dee da da dee la da da. I want to live in America. Something in something America. America.